So what does it take to write a good PT essay? You gotta write words that you can't spell, you gotta write words that you can't pronounce, and you gotta take that 20 minutes and write as many words as possible, so you better increase your typing speed. Bullshit. My name is Sunny and this is Sunny English and in this channel I provide tips and tricks on how to obtain your PTE score. So if you're new here, think about subscribing. Now we've already gone over the summarized written text and if you don't recall that video, just click on the link above. But now we're moving on into the essays. This is the first video of a series of three, so I'll be going over the structure, the brainstorming and the actual writing itself. Now as I mentioned before, in the PTE academic essay, do we really need to write all those complicated academic words? words you can't spell, words you can't pronounce, and write an abundance of words, hell nah. But if you want to, you can, I'm not saying it doesn't work, but I want to take the elevator. If you want to take the stairs, matter of fact, if you want to climb the building, go ahead. But we want to finish this the easy way. We're not trying to complicate things and make it hard for ourselves. So once again, this video will break down the essay structure. The following videos will be brainstorming and actually writing out the essay. Now I know there's PTE essay templates, I got them too, but this one we won't be talking about the full essay template. We will use some for the structure, but this is for people that don't want to memorize templates, don't have access to templates, or feel like they are capable enough to write the essay themselves. So if you're ready, let's get into it. When was the last time you wrote an essay? So now the PTE academic essay is not exactly the same as a real academic essay. So this video I'm going to give you an outline of the simplest form of what a PT essay should look like. We're not going to overwrite it with an abundance of words or overwhelming vocabulary. We're going to try to keep it as simple as possible. And that is if you do want to do the writing by yourself. If you plan on using a full template, you don't even need to watch this video. Here's the most basic structure of an essay. Now I don't know about you, but that's a pretty good looking burger right there. Anyways, a PT essay should have four paragraphs. In real academic writing, an essay should have five paragraphs. But like I said, PTE is not real academic writing. First, we will start with an introduction paragraph, then followed by two body paragraphs. Finally, we'll finish off the essay with a conclusion. So imagine if you will, you order a burger and they give you two pieces of bread and no beef. What is your reaction? This image is to illustrate the importance of the body in the essay. Got it? Got beef? Now that we have established a number of paragraphs, how many sentences should you write in each paragraph? A paragraph should have at least three sentences, but for the PTE, we can even cut it down to two sentences. I'll break down exactly what you should talk about in each sentence. That means every sentence you write will have a purpose. We will not do freestyle writing. In the introduction, we will write three sentences. First, paraphrase the background. The background is the information they provide in the essay topic. Second, answer the question. The essay topic will ask a question or provide specific instructions. Answer that. Finally, the last sentence is a general sentence stating what the essay will discuss. Don't provide any specific details here. This sentence is just for extra word count. Now let's take a look at the body. The body will have four sentences. I will create a complex compound sentence out of one of these sentences, but I'll show you how that can be done in the lesson where we actually write out an essay. The first sentence is a topic sentence for the body to provide a reason for the opinion stated. The information provided is to help with the brainstorming process. I'll explain that in the next lesson. The next two sentences are supporting reasons for the topic sentence. And again, those questions are to help you with the brainstorm. We'll see it again later. The last sentence should be a specific example to back up the reasons. The information in the example does not have to be real. You can make it up. Content doesn't matter that much. This will probably make more sense when we actually write out the essay. So we'll just move on for now. Finally, the conclusion. We will write three sentences in the conclusion. First, state the main idea again. This is the second sentence in the introduction, so go back to that, paraphrase yourself. Second, paraphrase the topic sentences in body one and body two. No new information here. This is the conclusion. It is for review. Lastly, use the last sentence to talk about what you think will happen in the future. 
it doesn't really matter what you say, this is more for the word count. And that is all, you're finished. This is the recap. So once again, these are the number of sentences that we're going to be writing in each paragraph from the introduction, body one, body two, and then the conclusion. So in total, we're going to write between 10 to 14 sentences. Keep in mind, two of those sentences will be complex compound. And again, I'll show you how to do that when the time comes. This is the outline for the PTE essay. Thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful. So as you can see, every move is a calculated step. Every sentence has a purpose to be there. We're not freestyle writing. And every time you write a sentence, I have a specific question that I want you to ask yourself so you're not going to be lost while thinking of what to write. But that's going to come in the brainstorming section where I tell you how you can answer those questions. If you need help with other tasks, click on the links for more tutorials. Now before you go, please don't forget to subscribe and drop me a thumbs up for this video.